Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So, if you've been following along, you know how to do this genie. He's big. Um, so the thing is, I wanted to, I mean, you know, we're always trying to improve the process, right? So this is what the back looks like. I haven't glued him together, but this is what the back looks like. Normally, I'm not so concerned about the back because this is good enough for me um, because in my mind, I'm always... Um, sticking it up against the wall so that it stands propped up against the wall or it's against the table so no one's looking at it from behind but if someone happens to be looking at it from behind I wanted to do I wanted to try something different so first off this foam board is a dollar right from the Dollar Tree it's 20 20 inches by 30 inches so it's large it works great for this type of project um, but most of the time my background is black um, but the inside is white. So if you're looking at it from the side, you can also see the white. So what I'm gonna do is, I came up with an idea, so let me move this out of the way. Doesn't get ruined in the meantime. Okay, my idea is to use streamer paper. So streamers, which I also bought at the Dollar Tree. So what I wanna do is, I kinda wanna wrap it around, well not here because this is, this is the start of the streamer, so you don't want that. If we're trying to make it look pretty, we want uh, the full the full thing looking pretty. So I was thinking that we would tape this along like this so that we're kind of like bandaging it. So, so you want, you know, so for the sides, you'll get the black streamer. In the back, it will sort of look like, hopefully, a nicely dressed like pinata. Um, and so this would work really well for like the super big projects where you have to glue together the foam boards. So when you're gluing together the foam boards, you can see where it's attached. So I think this will look nicer. And I'm sorry, my, my camera got out of focus for a second. Um, let me see if I put this down, it will adjust to the... Okay, sorry, let me... Okay, give me one second. Ooh, you can really see everything. <laughs> Sorry about that. There, we'll leave it at that. Okay, I think that's better adjusted. All right, so, um, so I'm thinking this will just make it look nicer. So we'll give it a try, right? Um, I'm gonna use I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Barely Art glue because this doesn't need to be glued down all that well. Um, so we're just gonna dab a little bit of glue and I didn't clean this out last night so hopefully it's still working well. All right, let's see. Okay, so I pulled this off. Um, I was working so late last night. I oh. I didn't turn that back on so you could see me. Okay, um, that I didn't clean any of my tools. So, all right, let's do this. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start in the middle. No, that doesn't make sense, does it? Let's start, let's start down here. I'll figure out what to do at the bottom. I don't know yet. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna give this a try. Okay, so see, I'm just putting down enough to get it going. Okay, we'll put it over here. Now let's think about this. Yeah, because the foam board is completely hidden behind the character, so we don't have to worry about um, anything like sticking out. So I guess on the edges, I'm gonna wanna glue it down more like that. Okay, so let's see. Do we want this in strips? So sorry, let me think about this. This is the back side. Okay, so this is the side that we're actually gonna see everything from. So let's see, we wanna make this look nice. So you know what? I think it would be easier if we cut it off so that each strip, we can, um, we can kind of bend it in so that the side looks good but we don't have to worry about 
this because this is where the character is going to sit on top of. So we're not going to see this side at all. So I think this will be good. Okay, yeah, actually, I'm liking this idea. Okay, so we're going to see keep building it like this. So it's going to look really nice. And then we'll figure out the bottom at the end because it has the scalloped edges. So you want to just kind of um, go a little bit past so that way it gives you some room to kind of wrap it around the, the edge, right? Okay. <laughs> this is, I don't know, this is an idea in my head. We're going to try to make it work. Okay, and then this one, I just want like kind of underneath his armpits, <laughs> like that, okay? And you don't want to stretch the streamer paper because you don't want to, I don't think you want to, we want to stress the paper and make it so tight. We just want it to look good and it's going to wrap around, so. Now what I'm noticing is, let's see when the glue dries what happens, but you can kind of see where the glue line is. It's a little bit wetter, like it looks darker in the black. Okay, so this is what I want to do on the sides is I want to wrap it like this. So let's see if this works. Okay, so now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to wrap it kind of tight. And I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use tape. So that I can get a tight fit. Oh, this is good. Because look, I can pull it and it's it's uh, conforming to the edge. So that's nice. And we don't have to worry about this side. This side's going to get the, um, the hot glue gun. <laughs> it's going to... Okay, so I think... So I'm going to go from here, I'm going to pull it tight so we get a nice curve. Oh, this is so easy. I'm liking this. Okay, so this idea is good so far. So kind of like a present, I'm wrapping along the edge and this is a curved edge. So I'm going to do it like this. Let me show you what this side looks like. So, I love it. It looks good. Here you go, see? And then on this side, this is looking, this is looking nice too. All right, I like this idea a lot. Okay, so now let's do this side and then I'll show you what, okay, so we'll tape this side down just like we did the other side, so. I'm gonna do this. Okay. And the streamer paper is really flexible right here. So it's really going along the curve, which I'm really, really liking. Okay. this tight in and then I'm tucking it in and then taping it down so it's a little bit more work than what we're used to but I think overall it's gonna look so much nicer because um, sorry I don't want to see how the black it's now instead of seeing this you're gonna see a black edge and it's that's gonna look good and this is what the back is going to look like so let me put down the character so it's going to look like this from the front, right? And then from the side, you're gonna see this instead of this, which looks really good. And then on the back, you're gonna see this, which I think looks good as well. And then this will be easy to fold down now that we know. So what you wanna do is we'll do a, well, we'll do it right now. <laughs> so let's do that. And then we'll be done with this tutorial, but I'm gonna be doing this, I think.